So just as we've seen an evolution in the role of the instructor in the learning process with technology, so too we've seen a evolution in the pedagogy, how the learning actually occurs, how the teaching occurs. So we started off with what was called Education 1.0. We didn't call it back then, but it was education. And it was essentially the traditional educational model. The lecturer lecturing to a class or a lecture theatre of students. The teacher in front of the classroom instructing students and the students generally passively um, ingesting that knowledge and understanding based upon the, the teacher-led instruction. With the introduction of technology, though, that started to disrupt this. We saw the much greater availability of resources, and we started framing this as Education 2.0, particularly with the vastly improved access to knowledge provided by the internet, and also a range of software applications that were allowing students to work somewhat more independently and to pursue their own interests um, where in the past it had been very much limited to the resources available from the teacher. Often the teacher had to write things up on the board so that the students could copy it down. That was their access to information. Um, things changed fairly rapidly with the introduction of the internet and much wider availability of resources. Over time though, we've now shifted into what's called Education 3.0, where it's primarily changing the dynamics of how the learning process occurs, where in the past it was considered much, very much a teacher-centered model, where the teacher decides on what was going to be learnt, how it was going to be learnt, and directed everything very strictly in terms of the learning process. Education 3.0 was very much framed around what's called student-centered learning, where the students have a much greater say in what and how they learn. And the teacher plays the role of the facilitator rather than the director, where they guide st students in their pursuit of their individual interests and learning goals. Now, of course, there still needs to be management of that process and guidance and, and so forth. But it was a, quite a fundamental shift in thinking. And we still certainly haven't shifted completely. And there are certainly arguments that there are times when earlier forms of education are more appropriate for certain learning activities than the student-centered models and inquiry-based models that are popular at the moment. But we're also starting to now see a shift to what's called Education 4.0, primarily because of the proliferation of data available to educators, where we can now track and measure student learning to a degree that was never possible in the past, primarily through online learning activities. Um, and so with that allows us the ability to customise learning, where we can know students' strengths and weaknesses and interests and um, trajectories, and then using again technology, provide learning activities to them in a way that best supports their individual learning needs. Coupled with this is the um, inclusion of artificial intelligence to be able to analyse all of that data and make those decisions, where in the past there was just simply too much data for educators to effectively manage on any scale that individualization process. Artificial intelligence now easily provides that capability. And so we're seeing quite a significant shift towards an individualized based learning process in Education 4.0. So there's been a number of attempts to frame what Education 4.0 is. It's still fairly much up in the air. Um, but I've provided you with one of the taxonomies that is used to explore Education 4.0. Um, it involves looking at global citizenship skills, innovation and creativity skills, technology skills and interpersonal skills. And then within that, the personalization and individualization of learning the making learning accessible and inclusive to all, and a focus on problem-based learning or inquiry-based learning, and, and a recognition of lifelong learning, where learning doesn't just finish at the conclusion of courses or of academic years or programs of study or completion of schooling or university. 
It continues throughout our working lives and into retirement and our entire lives. So Education 4.0 is reframing things quite significantly. So what I'd like you to do is to post into Teams using the learning activity you've used for the last two activities, how, it, how your activity can be framed in an Education 4.0 approach.